now I am turning it, and this is going to be my apple slice for my episode with Mark Green, also known as Life of Mark on the YouTube, so you can see the mess because I was taking promo pictures with the green screen. So how I found Mark Rooney. A while ago, when I was doing my whole talent search thing on the YouTubes, and I was just like looking up new vloggers, I, I came across one of Mark's vlogs, and I commented on it because I thought it was awesome, I subscribed to him. And like I, I checked on his videos on and on, and then I started up Apples Over Oranges, and Mark actually found me on the Facebooks, on the Facebooks. He was just like, hey, just let you know, I'm not stalking you or anything, but I just wanted to get in touch because I found you on here, and you know, you know me from YouTube, like Mark, and we became, became friends. I'm mumbling so much today, it's powerful. And yeah, we became, we became friends on Facebook, and that was pretty much it for a little bit. And then I, I started putting out my promo images. For a while, the only way I could get really attention to the show before there was an episode, there was like the weird episode 0.5, which I don't even know what that was. And you can hold the potato. But people liked it, I think, for the most part. But besides the, the weird little episode 0.5, I would release these images of just my green screen and two items just like around the house. So there was like a tiny TARDIS and a little minion figure that I got in a cereal box. And anyway, he saw the TARDIS versus minion and kind of dug that and he shot me a message. He was like, hey, I want to do that. <laughs> Cause that's totally how Mark sounds. That's, that's the modern Scottish accent that nobody knows about. Like he might have like that really like rich Scottish accent in his video and vlogs and stuff. But he actually talks like this the entire time and nobody knows. Except me and now you're not because I just told you. Yeah, so he's, he shot me a message and then we pretty much got rolling with that. I never know quite what to expect when it comes to working with new people because everybody has their own style. For the most part, my experience writing a script with other people is everybody writes tiny chunks every single day and then eventually you have a script, yay! And I started to get a little bit concerned because the date for filming came closer and closer and closer and Mark hadn't written anything yet, and I was like, okay, no, it's cool. This is just his style. This is how he writes, right? And like, we, we kept having these Skype meetings, just like, d the purpose of the Skype meetings was to talk about the episode, but we just ended up talking for like two hours at a time about nothing. And that was so, like, freaky and refreshing because it has been years since I had encountered a friend that like you could just like hop on and talk to them for a few minutes on Skype and then you know where did two hours go and you don't even really know what you talked about. So that was something really really unexpected. I did not expect to have like really awesome random conversations with Mark and to like just get along so famously with him. So that was really awesome. So yeah, the date for filming kept coming up closer and closer as dates do and there wasn't really anything and then like I, I was worried that okay like I'm since I, I'm technically like you know leading this project or whatever maybe I'm, I haven't been offering enough resources or something and so like you know I, I shot him messages just like because I suddenly felt guilty because I thought okay obviously I'm, I'm not supplying him with something maybe he's having trouble writing and it's my fault then he was like oh no that's fine yeah, it's yeah. You know, I, I have two days. I could do that, um, and yeah, he did, and that's something that I can't relate to. I've never been able to calmly pump out a lot of content in a really short period of time. Like I can pump out a lot of content, just not calmly at all. Like I can do it anxiety-ridden and sobbing, maybe with a lot of chocolate and coffee and stuff and like shaky and stuff, but not calmly. So yeah, I just I, I looked at Google Drive and just out of nowhere there was just whoop, there's the entire script. And it was like that. It was it was very impressive. And another thing too is that is the easiest episode I've ever I've ever had to edit it. That was the easiest episode I've ever had to edit of any series or project that I've been a part of, of my entire life. Because and this is like the magic of working with experienced vloggers. All of his parts were just already perfectly edited and, and set and he was able to memorize entire chunks of his script and just recite them directly because me, I, I, I can't I can't really do that. I have to like read tiny bits and then look at the camera and recite it and then read tiny bits and look at the camera and recite it and just, yeah, there's him talking the entire thing right there. I have a feeling that apple slices are just gonna be me listing off things that impress me about the people that I work with. And it was just, it was really funny, clever, Whovian stuff, which is what we wanted, and it turned out quite nicely. And then of course there was me with my, um, oh, the face paint. I knew that the face paint would turn out disturbing. I think it's also because I'm, I'm not like an experienced 
you know, face paint her or anything. I literally just like pulled up a picture of one of the minions and just painted from that. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really pleased with how the episode turned out and I'm, I kind of, it looks like I'm like half evil and half good, like I'm on the fence. Since I did record it so many times and I've actually been struggling with like trying to remember to stop talking so fast sometimes because that's the number one complaint about the episodes is that I talk too quickly. I start thinking too much about talking and there are a lot of bloopers for this and there are actually bloopers for episode one but I just never bothered to put them into the apple slice for whatever reason. But yeah, no, I'm gonna share those with you me and my ridiculousness and hopefully you'll enjoy that. But yeah, I, I, I definitely I got an awesome episode out of this. I liked it even if it was I was weird. I like Mark's parts of the episodes. That's what I liked. That's what I meant to say. So yeah, that the, that was my apple slice. And you can uh, you can go watch PewDiePie or uh, Gurbigly. Oh which Gurbigly do oh, somebody say Gurbigly? Who's Gurbigly? I don't know. Is it it's this guy right here who's like the nicest Let's Player on all of YouTube who you should watch. Or Beagley's the jam. Whatever date is when you're seeing this, I hope you're having a good one and I will see you the next time I do video stuff.